Hello everyone. Uh, welcome to this interview series second part. So in the first part we discussed about applying for computer science jobs in Netherlands. So check the first part. We did a short interview with Aditi and she is a computer science alumnus from TU Delft in 2015 to 17. So this video will be particularly focused on Aditi's experience of doing a data engineer job, the interview uh, and everything surrounding it. So let's start with the first question, Aditi. What skills do you need to become a data engineer? The basic fundamental question, yeah. Um, the fundamental question is you need um, uh, ETL experience. So uh, how to establish, for example, a pipeline of data stream, data flow into uh, something. You need to have a cloud experience, uh, Python, uh, uh, Java is uh, beneficial, but it's not necessarily required. Python is something that you need because it's mostly useful for uh, extraction and everything. Um, you need to know how to scrape cloud. Um, so cloud scraping, you need to have uh, knowledge or at least some kind of understanding of how uh, uh, processes or pipelines, um, uh, data stream pipelines work and how you understand them. For example, Kafka is something that uh, you do not need to have a very deep understanding of it, but some superficial knowledge, okay, you know, understand what it is, what is it. Um, about APIs, uh, uh, HTML, HTTPS, uh, Linux, uh, bash uh, commands, uh, so command over uh, that is uh, is necessary, uh, I would say. Um, apart from that, uh, you need to have uh, uh, speaking communication uh, skills. Uh, stakeholder management is something uh, that is uh, uh, beneficial. Um, but uh, database understanding, uh, SQL, no SQL database, if you have what are, for example, different formats uh, of data that you can store in uh, different, different structuring, how to create reports, uh, visualization techniques, uh, what kind of visualization suits which kind of data, for example, these kind of questions, uh, understanding of that. Uh, so basically like a, 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 gra a grasp over uh, how the data is structured in general. And how, for example, from source, you can connect it to a centralized database. So understanding of the whole process is something I need to know for a data engineer. OK. Uh, so before we go to the next question, uh, it will be better like you give a brief introduction about the company that you are working for yeah, as a data yeah. engineer. Yeah. And maybe like what is your work, what you do in short as a data engineer in your company? Um, yeah, so I work as a data engineer in TomTom, Tom, which is a navigation company um, uh, here in Netherlands and also worldwide. Um, so I, I am working as, um, so it's an internal project uh, that, they, that I'm working on. Um, I've created a centralized database for all the uh, map APIs. Uh, so TomTom has a lot of uh, traffic or uh, location-based APIs uh, that they provide for the third-party developers. So I work on uh, on the transactions that happen uh, for these APIs. I have created a centralized database for it and a streaming platform of all the costs, sales, and how, for example, the usage of these APIs, the customers, and everything. So I maintain that uh, whole process and the centralized database um, and provide insights to the uh, internal business of the company so that sales and marketing, business, and also the product itself can be improved. So uh, yeah, that's what I do. <laughs> OK. Uh, so what companies in Netherlands can you apply for data engineering jobs? What are the some of the companies? Uh, there are plenty of them. Uh, maybe we can attach a list uh, in the comment below, uh, in the in the description below. And um, so uh, a lot of companies right now uh, need uh, data engineers, be it uh, banks. Uh, so currently banks also need data engineers because everything, it's, it's like data boom uh, around. Uh, so almost all companies require data engineers, data scientists, uh, data analysts uh, for something or the other, internal, external. 
so uh, tom tom is there there's booking.com there's a bowl there's um uh uh huai there's um uh, uh, i don't know it's i think there's one um uh, i'm forgetting its name um uh harrod uh and um uh, hamleys and also these small small com- big companies small companies uh um all all of them uh, require data engineering uh, jobs you can very easily find them on the internet on linkedin and different places okay yeah you are completely right because recently yeah. there was this uh, uh, some article i mean it has been mentioned at many places like data is the new oil so yeah 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 you can imagine like uh, yes. yeah yeah so yeah moving on to the main question now after people know what you are doing so how did you apply for the data engineering position uh for me actually um it was an internal move to be honest uh, in tomtom i uh, i had started as a software developer uh, and um, although because i had the data data science background from my masters so um, initially i started as a software engineer and then uh, during the uh, there was an internal vacancy so i applied um, within tomtom but uh, but like properly as a separate um, uh place as you had applied from externally as well uh so i applied for that had uh, i think two or three rounds of interviews online tests uh as well uh interviews and then i uh, got the job of as as a data engineer um so yeah uh, so for my first approach was easy because i was working in tomtom but uh, it was very i mean one could easily find it from the careers website of tomtom okay so it's yeah. it's quite flexible right like you yes, can yes. from different if yeah. you have that interest and skill and everything yeah yeah okay so we also discussed this point in the previous video but we will again just say something about it briefly like is that uh, necessary or is it a language a ba- barrier specifically in the context of being a data engineer in netherlands no you you speak the language of data not uh, the spoken language so uh, you need to have control over data and how it works not dutch or english okay so i think the next question you already discussed in netherlands what are the chances of getting a data engineer job and what are the salary range for like freshers or experienced professionals and maybe if you can then say a certain range of what salary you are getting in yeah. your current work um i think in data engineering uh, jobs the uh, average is um 50 above 50 uh 1000 uh euros per annum gross uh which is roughly i think 26 27 uh 2800 uh euros uh, per month in hand roughly um so i think the range is around that and based on experience uh you get if you have for example 2 years of experience maybe you get 54 55 56000 uh, euros uh uh per annum uh, gross um yeah and for freshers um for freshers is less maybe 48 49 uh but uh, yeah and, but but also uh, i think for data engineering um someone with some some experience i think is preferred uh it's it's little um uh if you have no experience at all uh it 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 need not be data engineering or data science itself some kind of for example software developer as as a general software developer then it's also beneficial uh, for you you are preferred over absolutely no experience because always a data engineer job is something of very high responsibility and you you have the hold of data so someone always with experience is preferred over someone uh, as a fresher okay so what are the common interview questions that you got uh, during your data engineer interview or maybe you have heard that these are the common questions which are generally asked during a data engineer interview um yeah 
so I um, I have to remember what I was asked. <laughs> um, some common questions are around. A uh, few questions are definitely around. For example, a bash. Um, uh, how how you would do? For example, delete all the files just to just to test how your command over bash language and Linux uh, command line is. So some questions definitely on that. Because mine was a transactional API based uh, data. Uh, so some knowledge on about APIs. I was asked questions on uh, if you could, if I could explain what an API is, what are HTTP headers, what what are um, uh, I would say um, uh, different. Uh, uh, what if you have to break a path uh, in an HTTP? Uh, what you would say and how? What is the nature characteristics of APIs uh, when you're working with APIs? Um, we need to take care about that. Then there were some questions regarding um, uh, what was that? Uh, so uh, scraping, uh, for example, uh, if you have to stream some data from some web website, how you do that? Just experience your uh, how you would do that. Then some knowledge of about of um, uh, databases, um, if um, uh, and also. Um, some uh, Python based questions, uh, for example, uh, there was a very interesting question um, difference between string uh, in Python 2 and Python 3. Um, so how because there was a the way string actually changed. So data type string, what is the difference between Python 2 and Python 3? So that kind of thing, Java, uh, if you if your job description uh, requires Java, then, for example, characteristics of Java 11, Spring, uh, Maven uh, frameworks, uh, these things, some questions around that. So it's, it's like actually very pure, technical, uh, deep uh, interviews. Then also, um, so because it's ETL, so extraction, the, the basic uh, things that you need for extracting your data, uh, different tools you've worked with, cloud knowledge, um, because mine is uh, Azure based. So some Azure experience, uh, if I have working experience, what are virtual machine, like uh, experience with virtual machines, dockers, containers, uh, these things. Um, so you need to have knowledge of about this whole spectrum in general uh, while working um, as a data engineer uh, here. Uh, not here, I think for data engineer anywhere around the world, you need this, uh, the knowledge of the whole pipeline. Um, <clears throat> then also, for example, um, as I mentioned, I think in my last interview, stakeholder management is something that you need to uh, know because uh, you need to gather requirements. Um, so some questions from my interviews were based on some situational questions, which actually extracted the knowledge uh, from me that how I would behave in certain situations, um, the, the data in general, um, how, uh, how you would uh, clean the data. Uh, what validation checks you would apply in a data uh, because those things are important for from the companies and business perspective so i had a lot of questions on this front okay so yeah. i guess this is really elaborate everyone should understand like what are the interview questions or yeah. surrounding which yeah, yeah, yeah. topics yeah. or yeah. points or themes you might expect yeah. interview yeah. questions so this might be a difficult question. I ask this to everyone when I do an interview. What is the one thing that you like the most about being a data engineer? And what yeah. is the one thing that you dislike the most about being a data engineer? Um, the, the best thing I like to, uh, with the data that uh, I am handling and uh, I provide insights, uh, different meanings to information of data that was uh, other way not possible so um, there are business decisions that could be taken based on the inputs that i gave so that's something i really like so um, i could help improve the sales or while launching the app there was a specific bug in a particular product that we had and i was able to catch using uh, the tools and the the uh, because of the engineering and insights the dashboards that i had created so that's something when you actually see something a product being improved and the company benefiting from the inputs that you provided that's something i really like about um and something which i dislike is uh, 
actually i don't dislike anything uh, i i like the day to day everyday challenges uh, those things but something like infrastructure uh, work and maintenance uh, you while being a data engineer because most data engineers also have an inclination of being analysts or data science um, people so i personally get less time to work on the data science part uh, and i invest a lot of time in maintaining the infrastructure so um, that is something i slightly dislike uh, that i would like to spend for example have the infrastructure automated uh, fully and forget about uh, the whole process and concentrate bo- more on the inside spit but that's generally not possible moreover because i uh, for me personally i created this team actually so i created this product myself uh, as a single person in within tom tom so it, it's it's my 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 i have more responsibilities as compared to maybe a 10 10 team data engineer uh, 10 person team of data engineers i i am mostly i started as a one person team and then grew to a bit more because there was a lot of work uh, i couldn't handle myself so um, for me it's it's a bit difficult because i'm the sole person managing the whole, the whole tom tom's internal uh, data uh, but it might be different for other people in big big companies yeah mine is like a startup within a established big company you could say yeah that's a very nice way to frame it like uh, yeah. it's good to know that you took like the leadership and the ownership yeah, and yeah, yeah. Uh, try to build up on that so uh, if i understand you correctly like uh, do you mean like uh, maintaining the infrastructure is more uh, laborious or is it like not that interesting what is will be the um, best way to say it's, it's, it's actually subjective uh, some some person might like it a lot some person <laughs> might like some other aspect of it because because a uh, data engineer involves uh, so many aspects uh, that it's 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 never the case that someone likes each and every bit of it someone uh, maybe is as fond of one bit for example the last bit the visualizations part the presenting part or cleaning part but someone might be um, really interested in the transformation part or someone might be really focused or really interested in the extraction part so everyone has their likes and dislikes and based on that um, uh, person likes or dislikes uh, his own job but you need to have knowledge of the whole process to be a data engineer uh, that's the ground uh, truth um and um, yeah uh, it's because um if you have an a pre established infrastructure and a project that you are joining then it's not a problem but you if you are creating the infrastructure yourself then because you are the whole and sole person responsible and maybe you lack certain knowledge maybe um uh, you have the chance of something breaking production breaking or some a tool breaking and and it's cloud cloud can uh, cloud can uh, ha- like um uh, uh, trouble you at any time um so um yeah these things happen there are a lot of operational requests uh that you have to maintain and you have to keep track of uh in general so yeah okay so before we end the interview we always have this like any advice or tips you want to give to people who want to be, become a data engineer or apply for data engineer jobs in the future in netherlands uh i would say try to uh, get your hands on on uh, scraping some website uh and uh, for example uh, you have a api a website extract uh, 10 things out of it right into a csv file using a python script practice these kind of stuff yourself because this is a very common exercise that you might get in your uh, technical um uh, uh, tests that you have to give uh, for data enge- uh, engineering position because in general the process is you have a telephonic interview then you have a one um one normal interview um could be skype uh, majorly uh, might include some technical and some hr based in general uh, questions then this uh, in general send you uh, uh, an online test that you have to complete and and then after that based on the uh, the results of your online test you have an inter- interview mostly face to face which is also um, uh, uh, which is also uh, very um, what you say technical oriented and also you have to explain what you did in your test uh, for example so um 
the technical test is a key uh, and then in the end you if you pass everything you have maybe you have another hr interview or you do not have uh, that's that base depends on company to company but uh, practice a bit on the technical front uh, and get your uh, basics right and also if there's something particular about the company that you know is working on some technology or something so have have bit, do your bit of your homework uh, on that front as well okay so thank you very much for giving your time on a sunday for having this interview yeah, and sure. i hope yeah i hope that uh, all of you might have gained some insights about uh, being like applying for a data engineer the interview experiences in netherlands so don't forget to smash the like button if you like this video and share this video with everyone so that people who are interested in future will benefit and don't forget to subscribe to the channel till next interview series of bye bye